welcome to another video. So, Anthropic launched their new models. I made videos on them. You guys can go ahead and check them out if you haven't already. Now, Anthropic launched two models. The first one is Claude 3.5 Sonnet's new upgraded version, while the second one is the Claude 3.5 Haiku model. But, the Claude 3.5 Haiku model is not available yet. It says that it will be available within this month, but I don't know when. So, it cannot be tested. And, since the new Sonnet model is basically an upgrade over the previous Sonnet model, I didn't want to do a proper video on just the testing, because everyone knows that it's going to pass all the questions. So, this video is about testing the new Sonnet model with Klein and Ader, because that would be the best way to test it. But, that doesn't mean that I haven't tested it on my basic questions. So, this is the chart of all the questions I gave it, and it only failed one question, which is this English adjective question. I mean, even O1 doesn't pass this with all the reasoning steps, so that's not a big thing. It's majorly amazing in coding and everything. Because the previous model also passed all the questions in coding, which is just amazing, and this one is similar. I'll need to change my questions and things now, because Claude is literally beating my benchmarks. Also, Ader has shared their benchmarks, and it tops the chart, beating O1 preview as well, which is also just amazing. Some people on the internet were saying that it's performing worse in some tasks. Well, I've seen it happen with the older version as well. It just happens when there are too many people using Anthropic's API. It's like they tune down the quantization to scale to more people. So, it degrades for sure, but that's fine with them. Anyway, today, I'll be telling you how you can set this new model up with Klein and Ader, and we'll also do some testing that way as well. So, let's get started. First of all, both Ader and Klein have done some upgrades to make it all work correctly with the new models. So, Ader now has full support for the new Sonnet, which is the new state-of-the-art on Ader's code editing benchmark. It also now uses the new model as the default one. So, that's super cool. There are also some other things which are not so big. So, that's cool. Apart from that, Klein has also released a minor version upgrade for the new Anthropic model as well. So, that's super cool as well. Now, let me also show you how you can use it with both. First of all, let's start with Ader. Now, make sure that you upgrade your Ader installation to the latest version by running the pip install upgrade Ader chat command. Once done, we can start using it. So, using it is quite easy. Just export your Anthropic API key or open router API key if you use it with that. Then, just run Ader with the Sonic command because it has been updated to refer to the new model. Also, make sure you run it with the cache prompts option because that will make your API costs lower anyway. Now we can ask it to do anything. First of all, to test in a somewhat real scenario, let's try to create an Expo app because I like making mobile apps and it also tells us if it is really able to make stuff that you can use at your fingertips. Okay, I have created the Expo app over here. I have also run it, and you can see that this is the default Expo app that we have over here. Now, let's start Ader over here. We can give it the prompt over here. I want to create a simple app where I can record the expenses of the day. So, I basically want one page where it will show me all the expenses I add, and it should have an add button at the bottom right as well, which will open up a modal where I can add the expense, and that will show up on the page. I also want edit and delete options for each expense as well. Also, I want this to be named King Day, and I also want an option to clear all the expenses at once with a clear button. So. Let's send it, 
and see how much it can reach in this one prompt. Okay, it's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. And it's now done. If we look at it, you can see that this looks so cool. I mean, it was able to one-shot this, which is just amazing. I think if you add a mock-up image to it and stuff like that, then it could make an even better app. So, I just wanted to try it out and see how well of an app it can create in one shot. And it works pretty well, which is just amazing. Let me know if you guys want me to make a video where I'll create a full app with it. Anyway, so that's how you can use the new model with Ader, and it performs really well. I want to see how Haiku and Sonnet will perform in architect mode as well. So, let's hope that the Haiku model gets available soon. Now, let me also tell you how you can use it with Klein as well. And let's try to create something similar with that as well. So, first of all, make sure that you have upgraded Klein to the latest version. Once that's done, just go to Klein, and in the Settings option, you'll see this new model, which is selected by default. So, just select that. If you're using OpenRouter or Vertex or anything, then the new model has also been added there as well. So, once you have it configured, we can use it. I have created a new Expo app, and I have also got it running here. Now, I want to create a different app here. I even have a mock-up this time. So, basically, I want to create an app where I can add things that I need to remember if I have done or not. So, I just want an option to add things. And each thing should have a toggle, which I can toggle when I think I have done it. And after that, when I start thinking if I have done that thing or not, then I can just look at it and verify it. So, that would be super cool to use. Let's just send the prompt over here. Okay, it's now doing that. Let's wait a bit. And it's done. So, if we preview it, you can see that this looks super cool. I mean, it did what I asked it to do. Although there still need to be some touch-ups, this is great. The previous Claude was already really good, and this is also super good to use. I think that in general use cases, you'll see the slight improvements for sure. If you want, I can create a proper video or I'll create an app with it. I don't know what to say, man. It was already good, and it's now super cool. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.